John Wilkes Booth assassination of President Abraham Lincoln resulted in a disgrace that he never anticipated. Four days following the conclusion of the Civil War, the 26-year-old Booth shot Lincoln fatally in the back at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. He would stab Lincoln's military theater box companion afterwards and then leap from the balcony onto the stage landing awkwardly. With a dramatic flourish, he shouted, thus always to tyrants in Latin. Booth escaped with co-conspirator David Herold and a horse waiting for him behind the theater. Historical observers speculated that he either fractured his leg in the fall from the theater balcony or fell off his horse awkwardly hours later. For the next 12 days, he followed an escape route through Maryland and Northern Virginia. While a fugitive, he had his leg treated by a doctor. Booth erroneously anticipated a hero's response for his brazen shooting from the Confederate military and Southern states' population. The war's conclusion had altered their reaction. The honor and acclaim that Booth had anticipated from within the South never materialized. In Port Royal, Virginia, Harold and he were flushed out from a tobacco barn once it had been lit on fire. Harold surrendered without issue. He would be publicly executed later. Booth refused to surrender and attempted to flee, still armed. He would be shot and die within a few hours afterwards. The fate of his cadaver would ultimately have a Baltimore termination. Following his confirmed death, Booth's body was sewn into a horse blanket and transferred to Washington, D.C. An autopsy was performed at the Navy Yard, and then he was buried in the old penitentiary. His body would be exhumed and reburied in a penitentiary warehouse during 1867. Two years later, the process would be repeated and his body released to his family in Baltimore for reinternment. They selected Green Mount Cemetery inside a family burial plot. The family concluded that any elaborate memorial for John Wilkes Booth would attract undesirable attention and vandalism. A diminutive, unmarked white headstone has been attributed to him. Other speculation attributes that marker to his older sister, Asia. Visitors leave Lincoln head pennies atop the headstone as a symbolic gesture. An alternative location for his burial is adjacent to the unmarked gravestone on a bare patch of grass. His precise burial location has never been officially confirmed.